Hello everybody and welcome back, my name is Winback and on today's episode of Heroes of the Storm we're going to be playing Rainer again. Even though we've already done three videos of this madman, I want to try new Rainer, who got his auto attack damage, unfucked, and they gave him back the uh, old uh, level 1 talent for Ace in the Hole, so damage won't suck. Your Q also got uh, buffed in damage, I think that got reduced with the the previous rework thing, so that came back. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's a YouTube video. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe your heart out. And the team comps on Brax's holdout today are going to be Lili, Deathwing, Johanna, Butcher, and Ringer versus Medivh, Arthas, Brightwing, Johanna's dead, Cassia, and Tassadar. The people that I am playing with are a four stack. Uh, so they have their own plans and their own thinking about how this game is going to work. And I'm obviously going to ignore everything that they say or do in this game and uh, just use my pepper to season up the enemy team. So, Ooh. Butcher going in, going to have all of his damage completely negated and then he's going to be perma-slowed by the Arthas, turn around, take a bunch of damage, and die. But we're talking about Raynor, right? So Raynor, uh, really all that he got changed was his base attack damage, his Q base damage, and his, um, they adjusted his, uh, his Q talent level 1, or just his, his ace in the hole talent level 1. Um, also, uh, execute orders has been removed from ARAM, because that was broke as fuck, and they finally decided that was a bad thing, uh, which is fine. Uh, that's... Doesn't really pertain to what we're doing here, but that's definitely a smart move uh, for the health of the game. Regardless, Rainer definitely very good at the uh, the shoosting, and the Butcher very good at dying, just falling in half all over the place, happening over and over and over again. Uh, one thing I will mention about this build is that it does run out of mana very, very fast. So, we're going to talk about the build because I assume at this point, since there have been so many fucking Rainer videos, you know what the character is about, and hopefully you're not too bored that you can't sit through another one, so. Yeah. Anyway, it, uh, it's going to be Ace in the Hole at 1. So Ace in the Hole went back to deal 10% more damage to stunned or slowed heroes, and uh, enemies hit by Give Him Some Pepper are going to be slowed by 10%. So Raynor can already proc his own Executioner, and this damage isn't just his auto attacks, it's his auto attacks and his Q. So, all of the burst damage that we can do is going to be tied into our penetrating round, RQ, uh, which is very much the most fun part of Rainer's kit because of the knockback, because of the burst damage, because of the stuff that it does. So, keep that in mind when we're going through the build, but um, really a whole lot isn't going to change from the build that we were playing previously on the, the Ultrac Pass game. Uh, so we're going to take mostly all the Q talents, we're going to do all of the Q damage, and we are just going to make this Medivh player's uh, life a living nightmare. We're just going to try to knock people away from portals, we're going to try to secure kills with our Q, and we're going to try to peel as best we can once we hit level 13 with the Qs. Uh, there's a lot of disruption going on, and a lot of just kind of sustain for this character that can happen, but... Yeah, if you haven't seen either of the other videos, though, feel free to take in the build right now. We've got Ace in the Hole at 1, Fight or Flight at 4, 7 is actually going to be Heavy Slugs, 10 will be Rainer's Raider, 13 is going to be Line em Up, 16 is Paint em Red, and then 20 will be Duskwing. Assuming that we even make it to 20, because it is Brax's Holdout, and this map has uh, a penchant for ending early. But... The way that all of this stuff works together is actually really cool. So your 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 level one talent does nothing but give you extra damage, which is fine, whatever. Um, the the big ones are going to be the Q talents, uh, so we can ignore the four talent as well. Mostly this whole whole talent tier is just about sustaining you in some way, so we don't have to you know jump down that uh, that chute. Uh, and then your your level 7 talent is going to be the first one. So Heavy Slugs is going to increase the slow and the duration of the slow on Penetrating Around by 
1.5 seconds and 15%, meaning that it is now a 35% and a three and a half second slow on an AOE knockback ability. Uh, so that means Raynor can effectively peel really hard for himself on top of um, chasing people from a long distance with your Q and peeling for teammates. Uh, so your, your Q button, since it's an AOE, since it's in knockback, since it's got all this utility involved in it, uh, it's just going to be very, very useful. Uh, and the cooldown on it is going to be very, very small as the game goes on. So you should get insane usage out of the stuff. It's going to be good, I promise you. Uh, then the 13 talent that we're picking up, line them up, is just going to, first of all, baseline, reduce the cooldown of your Q by 3 seconds. And then if you hit two or more people with a Q, uh, enemy heroes, that is, uh, it's going to just reduce the cooldown of the ability all the way to three seconds. Just three seconds. Medivh can't get into his portal, but he's just going to walk away anyway, so that's a little bit unfortunate there, but whatever. He finished his stack, so there's there's only so much that that kill would have gotten accomplished for us. <clears throat> um, right, but line him up. Uh, it, it's basically a three-second cooldown on your Q if you're hitting multiple people, which is disgusting. Uh, it is... is Big AoE slows, big AoE knockbacks, big AoE damage. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Uh, and then it suddenly does once you hit 16. Because 16 is going to give you 50% more damage on your Q. And you're going to couple that with your, uh, your level 1 talent, 10. So you're basically getting 60% extra damage on your Q. And then... Uh, you're going to heal for 90% of the damage that your Q does. So, if you're hitting multiple people with your Q, you can essentially rocket your health bar all the way back up to full on a 3 second cooldown. We're just going to keep attacking the Tassadar here who thinks that he's safe on the backside while his teammates just let him die. I just love it. I love it when they abandon their immobile mage so that I can auto attack him into the ground. It's gonna come over here, see if Cassia is pickable. It doesn't look like she's very interested in going for the objective, which is a little bit unsettling, but uh, whatever, it's a quick match. Didn't even feel like trying to sneak around to get it, just wanted me to walk up there and hide in a bush. That's fine. She had to protect the building, I understand. Not like anything is gonna come with it anyway, other than losing the building. But that is ultimately the smart play. You just defend as much as you can, try to clear the minions, and then hope to god that the enemy team doesn't fucking kill you. So, kudos. Kudos, Cassia. You're doing it. You're living your best... Maybe not your best life. Let's, let's say, like, maybe your regular life. Um, and then... So, 16 is the heal and the extra damage on your Q. We've lost a Butcher. And then once 20 rolls around, we'll take Dustwing... Uh, Duskwing, because Duskwing is going to reduce armor, as is tradition, this thing is disgusting. We have not interrupted the Syndragosa, but it definitely got launched in some weird-ass direction, so I'm not super sure why he even pushed the button. Maybe just panic. Gotta keep walking forward, giving him the pepper. Alright, okay. As long as we're not standing on top of the Arthas, our auto attack speed is just fine. And we can continue peppering, knocking everybody back, having a grand old time. Nobody's attacked my raider so far, so it's just getting free-ass damage on whoever I click on. Brightwing gonna die to it. Looks like Tassadar is the next to go out to a penetrating round. Cassia will be our triple kill as she tries to run for her life. Can you say that I was surprised? I mean, were you surprised? Can you say that you were surprised? Because I certainly wasn't. In comes the attacking Zerg wave. With any luck, this will be the fort, and hopefully we keep wall, but... Are we gonna get some kills, too? Are you really just walking into the Zerg wave? There's the shield, but the Butcher Furnace is just going to take the Artanis out. Uh, Medivh is not doing a very good job timing his shields, uh, looks like, so... Oh well. If he didn't do that, Arthas was probably dead to the third wave, so that's the best he can accomplish, I suppose. Medivh still getting ass-blasted by the Raider. 
And the Raider finally goes down to some AoE damage, I suppose, because I didn't really pay attention to what happened to it. Just gonna try to get through this tiny wall. Nope, enemy team is gonna come out to meet us. There's the fear from the Deathwing. We're just gonna kinda hang back on top of him to hit a couple Qs if he needs them. There's two people chasing into him real hard. Gotta interrupt that spend, got the... Wait, I hit two people. We're not 13 yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. XP gain is so slow on this map for as dead as the buildings are. Now we've hit 13, we've got line them up so we can definitely, definitely get some cooldown reduction as it stands right now if we can hit some multiple people. Let's do it, we're moving forward. There's two, three seconds on that penetrating round, waiting for the shield to go down, blasting the Cassia away into the furnace, blast from the Butcher. This is the most fun way to play Raynor, like bar none. Using your auto attacks is fine, whatever. I mean, that used to be Raynor's whole shtick, right? Like, uh, you click him, click him again, click him a third time, click him a fourth time, and then maybe they would die. But now it's like, I'm gonna use my Q. I'm gonna use my Q so often, I'm gonna interrupt so many people's skill shots. I'm gonna wreck so much shit, but I'm gonna have so much fun doing it. There's another force of will. Arthas cannot get out. Butcher's gonna take him down, but also die in the process. I've got two people nice and ready to get hit, but I only got one, so we have to settle for the auto attack kill. That's really unfortunate, but we wouldn't have had enough mana to use the um, penetrating rounds anyway. So you can kind of see this is the big downside of this build. Uh, you run out of mana really fast because you can hit so many buttons just so often. Your Q is up all the time. Your W pretty consistently up. Um, and then your E button, you just kind of use that whenever you need to also, but it's, whew. Your blue bar does not exist ever. It's a small price to pay for fun. Take that to the bank. Tell whoever you need to. When they're making fun of you for picking Rainer, you say, it's a small price to pay for my enjoyment. And we're going in on the camp. The Furnace Blast is up. Still not deflected by the Medivh. Looks like Arthas is dead as fuck. I'm a sheep for just a time and then we can run on into the enemy team because they don't have a tank up, but they do have some towers. Can we get a kill here? Ooh, didn't get the full reset on the queue, unfortunately, only got the one person with it. So no kills for us. Had we gotten another one, the possibility existed, but uh, whatever. Cassia, please, where do you think everybody is? Medivh is throwing down the portal. We're gonna go through the bush. I've seen him. Oh no, the force of will. This is, this is how it ends, isn't it? 22 health, this is how it ends. This is how my whole day is ruined. I'll never play HOTS again. I have to uninstall the game. You understand. I'll be shutting down my YouTube channel. There's nothing I can do. I've just been. I've just been shown up by a Medivh. Who can shield himself and, you know, prevent all damage on a very short cooldown, you know, there's... I should have done better. I don't know, could you sense the sarcasm there? That's, that's really... That's all, all I had for it. I died to what I consider a very broken character, so... Win some, lose some! It's just, I felt very confident in my abilities and it turns out I shouldn't have been should not have been at all so just gonna slap myself on the wrist and then we'll get back to the game now the zerg waves going down the top lane I I don't know why we're not all in the top lane using our 16 advantage to kill them all under the zerg wave but I guess we're more interested in this bush strategy because the enemy team is doing a really, you know, fine job of checking bushes with their faces instead of their abilities. So we'll just get the camp. We'll wait for them to casually stroll on over. Looks like they're interested in the bottom lane. Arthas has checked the bush with his face and our raider has scouted him out. I'm not 
really sure why he walked into the second bush after seeing my raider, so... Uh, as a tank player myself, if I see that stupid little thing hanging out in a bush, I'm gonna turn around and run. Or, at the very least, maybe I'll toss a, a howling blast into a bush to see if maybe there's some people hiding out in there. Whatever, man. Everybody living their best life in quick match, doing exactly what they want to do. That is okay. You play the way that you want to, Arthas. No one's going to judge you for it. The Butcher Charge completely interrupted by bird mode. Not a whole lot to worry about there. Are we even going to make it to 20 so I can pick up Duskwing? I'm kind of upset. Oh, my nose itches. Jesus. Uh, stop. I think we're okay. I think I'm fine. Medivh's still in bird form. I'm gonna just snake around the backside here, try to line up a couple of cues. Unfortunately, it's not going to, oop, there we go. We got two people that time, got the three second cooldown. And it's back, the penetrating round is ready to continue penetration. Let's get this building down, I suppose, because the enemy team, like, doesn't understand it. There we go. Arthas knows. He knows. Like, we gotta kill him, guys! Come on, this is our last chance! The boss is full health! And Arthas is down. Deathwing has a very small amount of health, but I still don't feel like this is our time to run away. We want to push in because we got the boss, and the game could be over, and... It's just... It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. The team wants to get some camps. Uh, Core's dying to catapults, uh, so I'll just go sit on the objective, try to get some MVP points farmed for, you know, objective, uh, standing, I don't know, objective channeling, beacon presence, is that what it's called? I'm not sure. But there's lots of camps to get, and my team is very interested in them, and since they're a four stack, I can't really go anywhere without them, so I've got my little, my little baby, uh, Apparatus, you know, like the baby leashes that have the little vest that you you hook up a thing to, and you just you yank the child around, causing untold amounts of trauma to their tiny baby brain, and you really just ingrain that in them. That's me. That's me in this game. This is a metaphor for raising a child. Looks like Medivh will be. I'm just gonna steal that kill. Just stealing it. That's mine. That belongs to me. That's all my cue. Like, the whole map is red. There's just a half health enemy core. Like, what are we waiting for? Maybe someone wants the Merc Camp Award. Maybe that's what they're playing for. We gotta get all the Merc Camps, try to get a record number of those so we can end up on the MVP screen with like five billion camps. And then you post it on Reddit and you're like, this is my crowning achievement. This is my magnum opus. I killed 16 camps. Whatever. Here we are. The game is over. The game has been over for the last five minutes, but, you know, now we're really ending the game. Syndragosa is out freezing some minions, and we are going to just blast back to Cassia as she gets charged by the Butcher. Brightwing cannot do enough healing to stop the damage from us. But it doesn't matter because that core is just being obliterated. Zerg, Deathwing, minions, camps, you know, tidal waves, hurricanes. Is that me? That's me. I deserve it. Lightning bolts, earthquakes, comets, ast asteroids, not comets. Comets would probably burn up in the atmosphere, but, um, hmm. I, I wonder who that one vote was from. It was definitely the Johanna. She did get the Merc Camp Award. Like, look at that. Wow. Here's the build again. It's, it's the Rainer build. It's really easy. You just match the pictures. We've got Ace in the Hole at 1, Fight or Flight at 4, Heavy Slugs at 7, Line them Up at 13, Paint them Red at 16, and then 20 would have been Duskwing. I'm amazed that we didn't soak enough XP to get to 20, but I guess it's Braxis. It's a two-lane map. Maybe it just was not destined to happen. 
I think Duskwing is busted as fuck if the raider stays alive, so it's... Oh, well. That's going to be it for this current content patch of videos. I'll, uh... We'll spoot out a next set if you guys are interested in them. So let me know, uh, and we'll see you then. Bye!